Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun. So, last time we met this masked guy, and he was like, Dude, I have a mask. And we were like, Dude, who are you? And then we were like, Bye. And then we are like, Hi. So, yeah, well, we're not high, but... Yeah, 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 we'll give you, we'll give you the goddamn stars, calm down, yes, uh, fine, I like Jenna, Je shut up, Kraden, you're old, seriously, N no, well, uh, Kraden, Sh just quiet, shut up while you're ahead. Ooh, remove your mask, I'm interested, dude, do it, do it. Your mask is part blue and part green and just... Just remove it, dude. <sighs> yeah, once again, people not explaining what they're talking about. Felix. Felix. Wait, but... Wait. What? But... Is it... These guys are talking like there's only one person named Felix in the world. And I'm like, well, what... Couldn't it be any Felix? I mean, it doesn't have to be... It doesn't have to be, yeah, Jenna's brother. It, what What if it's... What if it's some other Felix? What if it's Felix Hernandez? Which I think is like a pitcher for the Mariners? Um, or something like that. Yep, okay, yep. You see, look. It's not... It is. It's her brother, what the... Come on! We don't care, Felix. We don't care how much grief you've caused. Your hair is really, really poofy. Your hair is like twice as wide as your face. Like WTF. Also, I kind of like how everybody f has a different background for the picture. Like here, Felix has a blue background. <coughs> and here, Jenna has a slightly purple one. <laughs> and it's slightly purple again. Come on. Yeah, okay, Felix is blue. Show Satros and Minardi. Come on. No, stop. Okay, I see Satros is red, and Minardi is deep purple. Is this acceptable? Yes, yes, okay, we know you're not gonna hurt them. Yappity yap, just... I wanna get to the gameplay. <laughs> like, the storyline's awesome, but... Yeah, we should... Feel it's... or Garrett is green. It's just like it's... It's almost the exact opposite of what they are. I mean, Satros is... Is blue... It has blue... Ooh, who's this? Whoa, he just teleported in. Okay, yeah, I guess... Yep, they're companions. Alex is probably my favorite character, just as, like... I hope he I hope he says something else, because his hair is, like, the coolest thing ever. Oh, well, it doesn't... Hmm. I think you might have a different icon, like a different picture in the second game, because... I remember his hair being very, very different. So I guess we'll have to wait till then and find out. But... Yeah, Alice is cool. And he has all these teleporty powers that nobody else has. Like, yeah. Do want. I, I wish we could have powers like that, but unfortunately we do never get any anything like that, so... But, really, your Alice could just fly over there, grab the star, and you'd be out of here. But, you're making... You're making us run around and do it? Like, come on. <coughs> I know you're lazy, but... That's borderline stupid there. <sighs> okay, so apparently we can't make it from up there. So let's run back around. I'm making all these same mistakes that I make probably every single time I play this game, but I never seem to remember that <laughs> remember that they're mistakes. Here you actually have to run around to the right. You can't get through get through there. You actually have to go whoo! Ooh, I wish I could just <laughs> There aren't any elemental stars out there! Well, no duh, Kraden. What do you have to say? Yes, yes, you're responsible. I hope you have a heart attack. Oh, no, well, I wasn't talking to you. You, oh, you don't have anything to say any. I'm trying to talk to Jenna here. Yeah, well, because he hates you, Jenna. It's because she hates you, Satros. Yeah, yeah, we get it. I'm trying to see what you people have to say. We're almost done. Dude, you should just teleport over there. I'm having to jump on these pillars. Why don't you, why don't you just show us how to how to teleport around and fly and stuff, and then and then we'll go get it for you. But until then, not interested. Not interested in the slightest. Either way, we are almost there. 
Oh man, I don't know why, I just keep having to cough, but I'm trying to suppress it so that I don't cough and... Cough... Cough... Okay, yeah, it's hard to suppress. I'm trying not to cough in the microphone. Um, one sec. Oh, holy crow. Okay. So, wait, what's going on? Why is... Holy, holy crap, things are exploding, and the cave is now, like, all the stuff on the bottom is gone. Not... Well, not again, what do you mean? Has this happened before? Terrible retribution, what... Is this what happened last time? Is, is another boulder gonna fall? Who's gonna die this time and then come back and realize we're, they're not dead three years from now? Like, WTF. What is what? Holy... What the fuck? It's a... Blinking rock... With one... <laughs> yeah, I know it's a rock, stupid! <coughs> the wise one. Rocks don't think, or have feelings. What power? I don't... I don't follow. Wow. He blinks so weird. Like... It's like his blinking isn't, um... It's like his eyelid isn't rock. It's like skin color, rock colored skin or something. Is it? You can see the wrinkles on the eyelid, and I'm like, you couldn't do that with rock. But whatever. R rocks can't float. Be guardians. Be wise ones, or anything. So I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying not to skip this fa this text too fast. But essentially, they're like, oh my god, we need to escape, and they're like, oh my god, we must bring Kraden because he's smart and old. Ow. I won't let you hurt her. <coughs> well, this is interesting. You can't help Jenna now. She's in the hands of the Alex. Well, uh, like there's there's nothing to say because I'm I'm trying to let you guys absorb the like the storyline here, but I'm also trying not to read it and be like, voice acting, and it's just like, I'm torn between what to do, and I just want to get to the gameplay and the puzzles and all that jazz, because that's the more fun stuff, and I, I have to listen this time and see if you actually heard that, because I don't, yeah, don't push Jenna, you don't push a girl, even if you are a girl, you still don't back off, Minardi, with your little poofy red things. That's my, the sound you heard, assuming you did hear it, is my wireless card reconnecting, because I actually run two wireless cards on this computer, because one of them likes to drop, but it'll reconnect immediately, but if you're playing an online game or something, it'll still disconnect you from the game, unless you're running two cards. So, and in fact, I think right now they're actually connected to different routers, even, so... Yeah, 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 I'm a techie, I know, thanks. <laughs> That's the one thing I love to quote, Isaac! Garrett! Don't die! <laughs> I don't know, I just... Something about that line is just so funny. And now it's just us and Alex and crackling and dying and... Well, Alex, if you don't have to leave it, you have teleporty powers. You could have just flown over, took it from us, and the entire time you were talking. But whatever, screw you two. <coughs> just leaving us here to die. And the music just stopped, and things are falling, and the rock is gone, and... Yes, yes, Garrett, I would say this turned out badly. Well... We haven't survived. There's no way out. Jenna and Kraten... Well, no, duh! Were you not watching? Do I... Yes, I think they're gonna kill them. And torture them and rape them and rape their dead bodies. Oh, my God, Garrett. You're so stupid and naive. So, come on. Let's just get out of here. Let's go jump back around the platforms like we did earlier and take our way out of that stone tablet. This really is terrible. Yes, thank you, Captain Obvious. I've done a lot. He... Sigh. Just, I don't know what to do with you, Garrett. I, re I really don't. This is... Also, this game is so slow-paced at the moment. Yes, we're in big trouble. Thank you. It's just like, well, what do you say when there's nothing on screen? We're sitting here... Garrett, you really are blind. And stupid. Yeah, there you go. You see this floating rock here who's, like, blinking? And talking without a mouth. This place yes, this place has become dangerous, I realize that. So why don't you why don't you make it stop dangerous if you're like the all super powerful one? Yeah, yeah, cast that synergy. Rocks so rocks can use synergy too, so apparently we're not that special. 
Like, yeah, we can use synergy, but so can rocks. So, whatever. Take a nice swig of my Mountain Dew there. It is currently 6.20 in the morning on 1.13, and little dots are floating off of the towers. Apparently they are a Jin. They're very useful. Okay, take out the Elemental Star, sure. Why am I doing this and holding it above my head like every other person, mainly Zelda? Or not Zelda, but Link does. You, why do you need to look at the one star to realize that they're, they're all moving away? Why couldn't you just use your Super Sensei powers to teleport, go steal them back, just like... Seriously, just run into those people? You're a huge-ass rock. I'm pretty sure they'll collapse. <coughs> but... Apparently the wise one is not wise enough for that. Like, I really like games, and I like the storyline of this game and everything, but there, t there comes a time where games are trying to be realistic, and not realistic in the sense that, like, oh, I, magic is real and stuff like that, and trying to convince you that it's possible that magic exists right now in our world, but a believable alternate reality to the world. Kind of like, um... If the world was different, these... Okay, the music started back up. I'll actually continue that story after we kind of get through this part here, because this is kind of important, because we're fleeing for our lives, and we're about to die, and then the game is going to be about somebody else, and not Isaac and Garrett, and me, and he's going to help us, but we're still going to die because you're not powerful enough, and we're turning white, and oh my god, apparently we're, we're white already, now this entire screen is white, what do we do? <sighs> okay, apparently we're safe. So that's, that's pretty cool. Come on, dudes! You just got saved! How about you run for your life? Yes, that floating eye thing saved us, Garrett. Congratulations. Now, why are you asking and why aren't you running? Yes, let's get out of here. Why did I have to tell you that? Okay, so what I was trying to say <laughs> was... Oh, God damn it! What, what was I trying to say? Something about what... I honestly don't remember. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, I'm forgetful. Um... Something... What was... Really? Really, this is what I've come down to, is I can't even remember what I was trying to say beforehand. Oh yeah, games being realistic. That's the one. Okay. So, cre games that try to create a believable alternate reality of what could be going on, like, in... Say Synergy did exist, then what would that world look like, and how could it be real and stuff? I like those games, and I find them very, very interesting, but when they flub things, for instance, like Alex right there, he should have just floated across, taken the Mars Star, floated across, and left. Just immediately. They shouldn't have sat there talking the whole time, etc. Um, and at that point, the game kind of loses its believability to me when people don't use their powers like that to not necessarily exploit, but use it to the best of their ability. So, like, yeah, I don't know. I just, I wish they would be creative like that, like, Oh, hey, I can float. I'm just going to float over there, take the star, and float back and run. So, apparently everybody's gathered here so that when the boulder falls, they'll all collapse together and die. Hmm. So, yes, apparently they've realized we have climbed the tower. Or they think that we have climbed the tower. Well, how, how can you see us climbing the mountain? Seriously. Yeah, they were hanging around here, and then you walked around to the other side of the building, and we snuck past you. You didn't say anything, or see anything, rather, even. <sighs> this is just so slow. The good news is it's going to speed up here really, really quickly. So, we've come down the mountain, and uh, apparently they have not seen us yet. I don't quite know how. No, we shouldn't go back up, stupid. That's where we came from. We die up there. I'd rather have them yell at us and do nothing. Garrett! Oh, the little, little, the little girl saw us. <sighs> okay, now they all see us. I don't know why it took them so long. We were standing there for a while. Now we're getting yelled at, we're gonna be in trouble, we're gonna get, like, excised from the village, and they're probably gonna castrate us, and then... <sighs> it's just not gonna be good, but apparently we have to deal with it. Where, where the hell do you think I've been? Did you just see where I came from? Is there anything else up there besides Soul Sanctum and Mad Elf? Why do you have to ask where I came from? That's where I was. Uh, and how did you not see Satros and Minardi and Jenna and Graydon and Alex all come down the mountain too? Weren't you standing here for that? Or did they just kind of sneak by you? Did you all walk around to the right side of that stone building there, and they didn't see, and you didn't see them either? <sighs> Sigh. I don't know. Maybe Alex teleported them all away by like sidelong apparition or something. Whatever. 
let's just let's go inside and stop bitching and moaning about non-realistic things and people being stupid, etc. So this takes forever. There's no way to speed it up. There's nothing going on. So I'm sorry, but yeah, you'll still get an accurate portrayal of what's going on. We kind of ran around in circles, and yeah, that's seriously all it was. But that literally takes like a minute and a half. It's crazy. Yes, they're prisoners. So that's how we retold the story. I don't know quite why we needed to show it in that sort of way. I don't know why we couldn't have just like been like dot 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 and that's what happened. So, I mean that's kind of how everything else goes but apparently that guy's name is the Great Healer but you'll see him all the time so don't worry about it. Hovering stone that appeared before me? Yeah, what about him? In your dreams? Well, what is this? I don't even know. More Mountain Dew, I think. It just spoke to you? Why couldn't we see it? Like WTF? Yes, it's the wise one. Haven't we narrowed that down already? <sighs> Sigh, people are so dumb. Hmm. If you all have any Mountain Dew, you should definitely grab some, because this stuff is delicious. Whoa, okay, why are you exploding? Stop doing that, you're gonna... Oh my god. Okay, well... Why does it need to... Uh, what's gonna happen? If the Wise One will prevent the lava from reaching us, why can't he just stop the, lo the lava to begin with? Why do you keep doing that? Are you shooting off fireworks out of yourself? Like, I don't get it. You look like you're on crack or something. Something is... Yes, the matter is that he's exploding. And you guys need to stop being so paranoid. What could be worse than our town? Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Gary. You're actually being s smart for once. A terrible power. How often have you heard this line right here in RPGs? Completely nondescript, but a terrible power. Oh, so cliche. Sigh. Yes, okay, they house incredible power. Cool story. So, we have some... Oh, I've just split into two files. Oh, well. So, I guess that means that we're over, like, 17 minutes, probably? Oh, well, I don't care. I work in three hours. I have not slept. I'm working a full eight-hour shift today. This is gonna be fun. Once the power of the gems has been released, the whole world will... Dot, dot, dot. What will the whole world what? I hate it when you do this. You're as bad as Kraden, dude. You say, like, dot, 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 and then you don't actually say... <sighs> I don't even... I, d I, I don't even. <laughs> what is this? I don't even. Google that. I hope that doesn't come up with anything bad. What is this? I don't even. Yeah, it shouldn't. Eh, whatever. Nod. Why on the ele elemental stars is their fate alone. So apparently we have to go on a quest to find the elemental stars. I was thinking we would go in Soul Sanctum, discover its powers, and that'll be the end of the game. But apparently I was misled. Garrett. By the way, that guy right there who just said Garrett's only a child, he's actually Garrett's uncle. The wise one has spoken. Well, no he hasn't. We haven't seen him. Who are you to say what's what's going on? Shares responsibility? Dude! Back off! Like, we're, we're kids, nothing is happening, like, the village is saved, why are you being such a hard-ass to us? <sighs> oh, old people, like, you just... Yeah, Garrett, I accept it. I actually want to continue this game. If you say no there, the game should end, you should have to start over, that'd be so good. But... Oh, wise one, these two have accepted your requ request. Give us your next command! Show me your moves! Google, Google that, too. And apparently now he's going to appear to us all. Apparently he was too good to see us for the for quite a while, but... Now, why there's three beams of light coming down from the ceiling here, I don't quite know, because there's definitely not three wise ones. It just seems kind of off-balance, especially because the middle one's not even any bigger. But, whatever. So yeah, that's literally all we see of the wise one. It's just that... Be like, yeah, I'm cool. So, yeah, whatever. Dude, uncle, he was just talking. Felix, Felix must unlock the power. Find the lighthouses. You'll have to try it. What must Felix do? I don't, I don't understand. Why does Felix have to do anything? He's 
not even in this game besides that one guy with the mask who does stuff with the thing. But what should we do where? I wasn't reading. <laughs> I already know what's going on, but that can't be all the advice you can offer. Well, of course it can. He's a healer, dude. Like, what do you expect from a healer? <laughs> what? He's just gonna magically know how to do this quest, which we know nothing about? Like, he's just gonna have all the answers? That's not how it works. Have you never played an RPG before, Uncle? No, there's nothing else. Stop. Stop talking. Oh, he's also the mayor. I forgot about that, I suppose. You leave it up to us? No, the wise one leaves it up to us. So yeah, my commentary is so boring, but there's literally nothing going on. These scenes are taking forever. <coughs> there's just, yeah, it's so... Nothing, but we're about to get to action. Like, literally. Is it... <laughs> hey, 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 isn't it almost uh, a time to meditate? What? What are you talking about? Oh! Oh yeah, meditation! Let's go! <laughs> just trying to come up with some excuse to leave and leave this, these two families to themselves. Well, what well, what good are those guys? Yeah, yeah, they're sending us off, but RPGs, the, the heroes are always okay. Don't worry about it, dude. We'll be fine. They didn't give us any other choice. We must send our children into oblivion. Da, 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 da. Tomorrow. Yes, okay, let's go off tomorrow. Sorry for the singing. That was twofold. One, I wanted to sing. Two, I'm interested in seeing how decent we were. So I was definitely singing it precisely in time with the music there. And, yeah, so we'll see what happens. What didn't you hear? Isaac and Garrett are leaving Vale on a journey. A journey? I wish I could go on a journey. I heard it's going to be really dangerous. Oh, yeah? So what? I know that's not what she said, but whatever. And a dog ran by, which was kind of cool, but was really, really, really fast. Apparently it was sprinting, and it's going to run out of energy. And literally, like, we went from that to we're leaving. Like, it's just that fast. There's no collect your things before you go. There's no, like, I hope you've prepared everything. Is there anything else you need to do? Isaac's mother isn't here to see Isaac off. Well, what the fuck? Now there's two dogs. <laughs> What the heck? Where's... Where's Mom? But Mom... Where... She's not here! <laughs> we are counting on you, Isaac. Oh, and you too, Garrett. So, such an afterthought. We got an herb, because we definitely don't already have like 10 of those, and they're gonna be useless pretty, pretty damn soon. Don't listen to him, Isaac. He's a pig. He'll eat anything that's not tied down. So good. Yeah, Garrett is a slob. Y you'd think my mother would be here to say goodbye, but she isn't, like WTF. <laughs> so now she's asking you to give stuff to us? She can't actually come down here and, like, see us off ourselves or herself? What the heck? <sighs> yeah, it must be very difficult. So what? G yeah. See, Garrett's mom made it made it down here. Sigh. Thank you, thank you, Mayor. Yes, we'll never leave if you just keep talking. So yeah, say goodbye, guys. I don't quite know why you all jumped to say goodbye. Like, you you did not jump at the opportunity. You literally jumped. And yeah, our mom wasn't there. So the world map will like kind of shake the whole time. When you're moving, it's not that noticeable, but yeah, it's definitely noticeable like that. So, this is the world map. You can run through everything just about except mountains um, and water. So here we have some maze. Uh, let me just scroll down here. There we go. Okay, so sorry, I'd forgotten how much HP mazes have. So a maze, an maze has uh, 23. 23 HP, which isn't much. And as you can see, we we lost Jenna, naturally, because she was kidnapped by who's her face and what's his face and the other what's his face and her brother face. So, we're down to two people. And yeah, basically the, the idea is that you're not going to have um, two Mars add-ups at any one time, or really at all, I suppose. Ooh, if that guy would have attacked me, I think I actually would have died there. But a maze, and a maze has a 28 HP, and then the bat has the uh, your typical uh, 30 HP. Actually, that's a slightly upgraded version of the bat. 
Um, and they all give more experience points now, and a maze gives three, and a bat gives, I think, three as well. Um, so what the heck is that thing flying around? It kind of looks like the Great Healer did when he was exploding in fireworks. But, yeah, WTF? Oh! I have a green background! A traveling warrior! Why am... Why Yoda I am! No, okay, I don't, I don't know why that turned out to be Yoda, but it did. Well, how did you see I was an adept? You just kind of blinked and then were like, Hey, you're an adept! Yes, so... Uh, well... Okay, yeah, he's a, he's one of the genies of the game, essentially. So these are the things that, like, sparkled on the... on the statues and then flew away. This is one of those, and this is by far the easiest one to get in the game, because he gives himself to you. Sometimes, yes, okay, I'll take you with me, sure. <coughs> you won't regret it! Uh, so some of them you actually have to fight, some of them you'll have to do puzzles. Okay, seriously, I'm just gonna fast forward through this because I can show you how to use Jenny far better than he can. And this literally takes forever, and there's no way to speed it up. Okay, so this is just showing you how to unleash Jenny, which I will also show you during the process of the game. I just really want to get through this, just literally that's so slow. Okay. Yes, I got all that. Thank God. Okay. Yep. Cool story, bro. Okay. So we got our first Jenny. That's the easiest thing ever after listening to like a 10 minute cutscene, which we fast forwarded into not 10 minutes. So with that, actually, I think I'm going to find one more battle and see you guys later. Uh, yeah, so let's, let's summon our Jenny just for fun and see what happens. Anything cool? Yeah, so that's basically just your standard summon unleash, and it actually also does more damage to the main target of the spell. Oh, no wonder he didn't die, he was defending. I'm like, he took a lot less damage. But, there you go. So, I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Golden Sun. We will continue on to the next village, and meet some more cool people, do some more cool things, and actually get on with things that are not cutscenes, because this episode must have been so boring. So I apologize for that. I don't know why I clicked that there. Okay, so enough dilly-dallying. See you all next time.